Hello students I am Atul Gharge and I am from Department of Business Economics today we are going to discuss demand meaning and its determinants so first of all we will discuss meaning of demand so what is demand demand is the amount of a commodity that a consumer is willing to purchase or is ready to purchase from market at a given price during a given period of a time so demand consists of a three uh, three three variables that is desire ability and willingness so if i desire for the commodity is it called as a demand so no so along with desire i need to have a ability now what is a ability ability is nothing but having money in the pocket so if my pocket is empty and i am desiring for the iphone or i am desiring for the car expensive car so it is no more called as a demand so along with the desire you need to have a ability for purchasing the commodity that is what your financial ability means you need to have a money in your pocket at the same time having desire ability uh, if i say it is a demand no along with that i need to have a willingness so willingness is also very important factor uh, for uh, the demand so uh, you, you can see the diagram over here that is a negative uh, slope of a demand curve which is going downward so uh, on y axis we have taken price and on x axis we have taken quantities so uh as the price increases okay demand for the commodity decreases and vice versa so basically when i call it as a demand when desire ability and willingness these three things are fulfilled and uh, met at that time i can call it as a demand so that is what the meaning of demand so now we will discuss various determinants of a demand so first of all we will discuss what is the meaning of determinant determinant is the thing which is deciding the demand uh, this uh, which is deciding the uh, demand for the uh, commodity so various determinants of demand uh, demand uh, are there uh, first point is price so price affects the demand of a commodity uh, of a product to a large extent extent there is an inverse relationship between the price of a product and quantity demanded as price increases demand for the same commodity decreases and vice versa now you can see the image where uh, consumers are more attracted attracted when prices are low and they are unhappy when prices are low so here as i have mentioned word that is what inverse means when prices are increases quantity demanded decreases so this is what called as a inverse so when price decreases people will buy more because it is a human psychology to purchase more usually when uh, when we see uh, various discounts are going on uh, on e, pla e uh, platforms or uh, uh, flat discounts are there so at that time people purchase more and when price increases they do uh, they do not purchase more because they do not like to pay more uh, for the same commodity so that is what the price so that is what the inverse relationship between this uh two variable that is what price and demand next one is income of the consumer the income of the consumer affects his or her purchasing power which in turn influences the demand for a product increase in the income of a consumer would automatically increase the demand for products by him or her and vice versa as simple as that income is very important thing as i told you already ability what is ability as i told you already that is financial ability so income is very important because having desire willingness we cannot call it as a demand so along with that ability is also uh, ability is also important so income is nothing but your ability so as income increases demand for the commodity increases so you can see the picture that let's buy more why buy more because my income has gone up so as simple as that i can say that as income increases demand for the commodity increases so what i can say that is there is a direct relationship between income and quantities demanded because as income increases quantity demanded increases because now i i am more able to purchase the commodity at the same time if you see the second picture that is when income decreases of the person what happens they try to uh, they purchase less less quantities because now Uh, his or her ability decreases so therefore uh, we have experienced in the uh, during covid during covid what has happened many people have they have lost their jobs so therefore uh, their ability has gone down their uh, their income have been totally stopped so they have started to sacrifice various uh, goods and services that they used to purchase previously when their income were high so income is very important determinant which is fixing the demand so as income increases 
डिमांड इंक्रीजेस एंड एट द सेम टाइम वेन इनकम डिक्रीजेस यूर क्वांटिटी डिमांड डिक्रीजेस नाउ हियर आई हैव कैटेगराइज दिस पॉइंट इन टू थ्री पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट आई एम सॉरी दैट इज फर्स्ट वन इज इसल कंज्यूमर गुड्स नाउ दीज आर दोज गुड्स दैट आर कंज्यूम बाय ऑल द सोसाइटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल फूड ग्रेन्स ऑयल कुकिंग फ्यूल एट्सेट्रा हियर एज इनकम इंक्रीजेस डिमांड इंक्रीजेस बट अप टू सर्टन फिक्स लिमिट सो दीज आर दोज गुड्स विच आर कंज्यूम बाय द एंटायर सोसायटी एंड हियर समवेर वेन युअर इनकम इंक्रीजेस देअर कंजम्शन नायदर इंक्रीजेस और डिक्रीजेस सो अप टू सर्टन लिमिट दे डू कंज्यूम इट सो बेसिकली वॉट वॉट वी कैन से दैट इट हैज इनकम हैज नो मच इम्पैक्ट ऑन द क्वांटिटी डिमांड नाउ सेकेंड वन इज नॉर्मल गुड्स नाउ वॉट आर द नॉर्मल गुड्स इन केस ऑफ नॉर्मल गुड्स डिमांड इंक्रीजेस विद द इंक्रीज इन इनकम ऑफ द कंज्यूमर फॉर एग्जाम्पल व्हीकल्स हाउट हाउस होल्ड अप्लायसेस एट्सेट्रा हियर रिलेटिवली डिमांड इंक्रीजेस मोर एज इंक्रीज इन इनकम नाउ इफ आई कंपेयर टू पॉइंट्स इसेंशियल कंज्यूमर गुड्स एंड नॉर्मल गुड्स हियर नॉर्मल गुड्स हैज मोर इम्पैक्ट दैन द इसेंशियल कंज्यूमर गुड इफ आई कंसिडर इनकम सो वेन माई इनकम इंक्रीजेस डिमांड फॉर नॉर्मल गुड इंक्रीजेस मोर दैन द इसेंशियल कंज्यूमर गुड्स बिकॉज इसेंशियल कंज्यूमर गुड्स आर कंज्यूम्ड अप टू सर्टन लिमिट नेक्स्ट वन इज इन्फीरियर गुड्स नाउ वॉट आर द इन्फीरियर गुड्स इन केस ऑफ इन्फीरियर गुड्स डिमांड डिक्रीजेस विथ इंक्रीज इन द लेवल ऑफ इनकम फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंज्यूमर वुड प्रेफर टू परचेज व्हीट एंड राइस इंस्टेड ऑफ मिलेट हाउ एवर मिलेट कुड बी नॉर्मल गुड फॉर द पीपल हैविंग लोअर लेवल ऑफ इनकम नाउ वॉट इज इन्फीरियर गुड एंड वेन इन्फीरियर गुड्स आर बींग कंज्यूम्ड वेन my income is less at that time i do consume inferior goods like uh, like suppose we can consider bajra bajra is the inferior good i used to consume bajra but now my income has gone up so what i will do now i will shift my demand from bajra to maybe wheat or maybe some uh, uh, superior quality of uh, uh, goods so therefore in inferior goods are those goods uh, whose uh, demand decreases as income increases so this is what the relationship between income and inferior goods as the level of income increases the demand for inferior goods decreases because people they shift their demand to the superior group good from inferior good next one is luxury good now what is a luxury good there are those uh, these are those goods whose demand increases with increase in consumers income luxury goods are used for the pleasure and esteem of consumer for example expensive jewelry luxury cars etc as simple as that when my income increases first of all i will fulfill my basic uh, needs that is food shelter clothing after that i will shift to the normal goods and beyond that if my income increases i will look for the uh, various expensive jewelries or uh, some uh, luxurious uh, items that i uh, desire and uh, uh, desire for the pleasure or uh, for the esteem okay next one is tastes and preferences now it plays a major role in influencing the consumer's demand of a product uh, of a product the taste and preferences of a consumers are affected due to various factors such as a lifestyle common habits standard of living here consumers is ready to purchase commodity even with the high price now here i have shown you a two pictures that is in one uh, i can uh, you can see the vada pav and in another you can see the burger so here why people they purchase vada uh, burger even uh, when even uh, price of vada pav is low because their taste i do like a taste of burger so therefore i go with the burger even though it is expensive it means that every time price does not fix the demand every time price do not determine the de uh, demand for the commodity beyond that certain aspects are there which are very important so tastes preferences by hook or by crook i purchase the commodity even though price is high so taste and preferences are one of the uh, major uh, factors which are uh, determining the demand next one is prices of related goods now here this point is also divided into the two parts in that first one is substitute goods now what is the meaning of substitute goods substitute goods are those goods which are satisfying the same need of a consumer but at a different prices for example dairy milk and five star the increase in the price of one commodity results in increase in the demand of other commodity 
देर फोर कंज्यूमर्स यूजली प्रेफर टू परचेज अब्सटिट्यूट सब्सटिट्यूट इफ द प्राइस ऑफ अ पर्टिक्युलर गुड गेट इनक्रीज नाउ हियर टू कमोडिटीज आर देयर इन विच आई हैव शोन यू अर डेरी मिल्क एंड अनदर इज फाइव स्टार सो सपोज इफ प्राइस ऑफ डेरी मिल्क हैज गॉन अप सो वॉट विल हैपन नाउ पीपल विल फाइंड आउट द सब्सिट्यूट गुड ऑप्शन फॉर द dairy milk so maybe they they found uh, five star so what will happen now here demand for five star will increase as uh, it is going beyond uh, it is going uh, beyond their budget okay so therefore instead of purchasing dairy milk people will go with the five star because price of dairy milk has gone up so substitute goods are those goods here uh, which are uh, deciding the uh, demand for the commodity next one is complementary goods these are those goods which are consumed simultaneously or in combination for example car and petrol so here i can say that when price of car increases what will happen people will demand less and therefore it affects the petrol's demand because here price of car has gone up so people will here apply law of demand price has gone up so demand will be low and therefore if car uh, number of cars car purchased by the people has gone down people will not go with the petrol so demand for petrol will go down ultimately so complementary goods are also okay the part of the determinants of demand so price of one commodity decides the demand of another commodity next one is expectations of a consumer it implies that expectations of a consumer about future change in the price of a products in the short term for example if consumer expect that the price of shares would rise in next week then the demand of a share would be more in the present because as a wise trader what i will do i will i will try to purchase shares when they are inexpensive so if i come to know that in next week they are going to increase price of a share is going to increase what i will do i will present today only so this is all this is also very important uh, aspect which is deciding the demand so expectation of uh, of a consumer is also part of the determinant of demand effect effects of advertisement advertisement is one of the factor which is determining the demand effective advertisements are helpful in many ways such as uh, catching the attention of a consumers demonstration of the commodity or persuading the consumers consumer towards the commodity if the advertising is appealing and done by the famous celebrities then consumer don't think much about the prices so this results in uh, increase in the demand for a product so here as i told you already price income taste preference but beyond that certain aspects are there where people they uh, considers so if uh, any particular commodities uh, advertisement done by the uh, celebrity then people purchase it even though it is expensive so here, uh, here i have shown you picture that generally advertisements are done by through only a celebrities famous celebrities why because here people they generally think about the price but here if these kind of things uh, that is advertisements are done by the celebrities people they purchase without considering their income or without considering the, the price of the commodity next one is a growth of a population population is a crucial factor in case of determining the demand if population increases then consumption demand will also increases for example transportation in mumbai more number of travelers travelers are increased and therefore demand for this service has increased as we all know once upon a time they were less rush or population were less in the mumbai but nowadays what has happened we can experience so number of people have been increased population has increased so what has happened we can see the rush uh, every day okay in the morning uh, in the mumbai uh, here i can uh, add one more point that is what distribution of population here suppose one area is there where more number of senior citizens are there so what will happen demand for medicines will increase one area is there where more number of children are there so what will happen demand for toy will be more so demand is basically depends upon the distribution of population and the growth of population and uh, not only price not only income not only taste and preferences but beyond that population is also one of the determinant of a demand and next one is custom and cult customs and culture customs are playing vital role in the in the in determining the demand here price income or other factors are not being considered for example demand for mangal sutra for marriage in india demand for sari in india yes here gold is expensive 
बट इवन दो इट इज एक्सपेन्सिव पीपल परचेस इट वाय बिकॉज इट इज द पार्ट ऑफ कस्टम इट इज द पार्ट ऑफ कल्चर मंगलसूत्र और सारी आर नॉट डिमांडेड इन द ऑस्ट्रेलिया और अमेरिका वाई बिकॉज बिकॉज इट इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ देअर कल्चर सो देर फॉर इवन दो दे आर एक्सपेन्सिव पीपल परचेस इट सो दिस इज अबाउट द नेक्स्ट वन लास्ट वन इज जियोग्राफिकल लोकेशन हियर जियोग्राफिकल लोकेशन डिसाइड्स अबाउट द क्वांटिटीज टू बी डिमांडेड ड्यूरिंग पर्टिकुलर पीरियड ऑफ अ टाइम हियर प्राइस इनकम प्राइसेस ऑफ अ सब्सटीट्यूट एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड्स डज नॉट डिटरमाइंस द डिमांड फॉर अ कमोडिटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंज्यूमर विल नॉट बाय आइसक्रीम इन हिमाचल प्रदेश ई वन दो इट्स प्राइस इज लो और हिज इनकम इज हाई Yes, as simple as that. If I reside, if I reside at Himachal Pradesh, and if I get a free of cost ice cream or free of cost cold drink, I will not consume it because it does not give me a utility. So every time price does not decides the uh, quantity demanded. Sometimes geographical location also uh, playing important role. If I if I talk about uh, Himach, if I talk about uh, Rajasthan, if I uh, consume tea in Rajasthan, no, I will not consume. a uh, tea in rajasthan as already hot environment is there so therefore not only price income but other aspects are, are there which are deciding the demand for the commodity so i hope you have understood all the points we have discussed we have discussed the de- uh, meaning of demand and we have discussed determinants of demand which are very important in economics subjects thank you